Welcome back to Prime Time, everyone. We're here with another episode of our playthrough of Elden Ring. Uh, on our previous episode, we kind of went on something of a, a little bit of a boss rampage. And we downed a total of seven bosses. Seven bosses in a little under three hours, which which is pretty impressive for me, I think. I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, we started off the night, because I really, really wasn't sure where to go. I started off the night going to the other three jails that we had seen around there, like where the Crucible Knight had. Uh, we started off with another with a jail in Southern Limgrave, I think is where it was. And we fought something called the uh, the Bloodhound Knight Darrowill. It was the guy's name. And he had the same model as a guy that we had fought over by Rhea Lucaria, the Academy. He had a big, wavy great sword, And then he also had a set of claws on his hand, too. He was a very acrobatic fighter. He was very much uh, based upon being bleeding things. And it was a really interesting fight. It was a fun fight. I, I enjoyed it. I one-shot it, though. Uh, next, we went over to Southern Limgrave, um, over where we found our first mausoleum, roughly. And we found another um, jail there, and we went inside after using some stone sword keys to fight the ancient hero of Zamor. Um, we have we don't even have a name for this guy. I don't know what Zamor is. I don't know if Zamor is a place, if it's a tribe or, or a kingdom or something like that. Um, we don't know. It really wasn't clear. Uh, basically, just a very generic um, frost based warrior used a lot of ice attacks and such like that maybe there's a frost area that we haven't seen yet that's called zamor maybe we'll see that further north as we go i'm not sure um the third one a third and final jail that we went to was over in kylid and that is where we fought battle mage hugh his real name is hugas or hugus i don't know i just call him hugh um, because it was way e easier to say that than what his actual name is supposed to be. Uh, he was a specialist in conjured weapons. So, like, uh, like Soul Greatsword from Dark Souls 3, only he had, like, a hammer, kind of like Margit did, only it was made out of magic. He specialized in that and just other spells. He is the only one of the three of the jail people I fought that actually killed me. He got me once, and then I just came in there, and I just aggroed the shit out of him with my claws, got a couple of bleeds, and that was all she wrote. It was a pretty straightforward fight. And he actually gave me a reward. He gave me his own ashes as a legendary summon. Uh, but it's something I still can't use because I don't have enough FP for it because it's uh, it needs a, like 122, and I've only got like 105, which is, which is unfortunate. It was very unfortunate. Uh, after that, we headed north from there to go to one of the Erd Trees, one of the minor Erd Trees, where we fought a putrid avatar of the Erd Tree. Uh, I, it got me, like, once because I was doing some stupid crap, but I came back and beat it. Then we went into a, the northeast part, part of Liurnia to fight another Erd Tree avatar. Uh, beat that one in one go, though it got a little touch and go. He almost got me because I got a little greedy. And he did a he did a slam with his uh, with his weapon, his staff, whatever, and then followed it up with one of those seeking lasers things, which almost which almost hit me, but managed to beat that. Um, after that, we decided to kind of wander over to the west side of Rhea Lucaria, and uh, after crossing some runes in a slightly unorthodox way, and I mean unorthodox uh, as in I jumped over things with the horse that I probably wasn't supposed to, I met a giant. I met a giant, and he was a blacksmith, and his name was E.G. Uh, he talked about himself and said that he used, used to work for the Karians. And uh, the Karians are Renala's people, Renala being the, um, uh, the I guess, the great one that held the great rune in the, the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Uh, he told us that uh, the keep of Karia was to the north, but we shouldn't go because the Karians were very strong. And it actually laid booby traps that it actually managed to take out the Knights of Rhea Lucaria. Um, us, being smarter than a giant, decided to just go and do it anyway. We ended up dodging a whole bunch of magic bolts to get inside. It was a cool place to see from the outside. Um, but uh, once we got inside, um, that's that's when it stopped being cool. That That's when it stopped being cool, like totally. Because inside, um, you know that you know that hand thing from the Adams family. Uh, you, you know that. Um, so imagine 
like bigger versions of those with way too many fingers. And like when I say bigger, I don't mean like the size of a cat. I mean like the small ones are the size of like a big dog. Like a oh, big dog. And then the large ones are like the size of like four of me. And um, they move like spiders. I do not like this. I do not like this. They're not fun. And I tried to get through there as quickly as possible. Uh, climbing to the top, though, uh, we ran into, I guess, some more actual soldiers that are guarding the keep. And they were guarding some sort of almost like an audience chamber. Um, it was a big circular circular area. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can figure out where this is going. Thanks for the biddies, Ashley. I'm pretty sure you can figure out where this is going. Uh, but it was a boss arena. It was it was a very it was it was definitely a boss arena. And we were faced with the Royal Knight Loretta. And Loretta was a very similar design to the Tree Sentinel. Only Loretta was very much like an ash summon or a ghost or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Loretta did have a halberd, but also used magic um, conjured bows and other other projectile weapons. Uh, kind of similar to the guy that we had fought in that one tower um, that uh, killed us several times while we're trying to climb all the way up that tower in Rhea Lucaria, um, who was just kind of being a jerk archer dude. Um, we managed to take take her down. Took me a few attempts. I think it took four attempts total. It was a it was a good fight. It was enjoyable. I needed to. I, I started to get really good at the dodging towards the end. Uh, and after that, we we ran into a dragon. We beat up the dragon. The dragon ran away. Uh, we couldn't find the dragon. Um, we didn't actually kill it, which was very unfortunate. And uh, we went into one of the towers that we saw up there, and we met up with the chick who gave us our first ashes. Um, her name was Rani, uh, R-A-N-N-I. Um, and she asked if we wanted to join her, and so we said, sure, what the heck, why not? And she gave us a quest. She wanted us to join her retainer, Blade, or, or Blod, Blyde? I think Blyde is the correct pronunciation. Wanted us to join him, and he was—he's like a—he's like a werewolf. He's like a, a werewolf. He's the 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 guy I keep seeing on the loading screens. Just like, oh yeah, I want his sword. And he's a werewolf. That's the guy. It's him. Um, but we're supposed to join him in that underground area that we found in the uh, the woods a while back, and we're going to be looking for the lost city of Nokra. Uh There's not—I don't think they really made it clear why we're supposed to be looking for this city. But we're going to go look for a ring to help him out. Uh, we got down there. We couldn't find a, a, a blind, but we did find a whole bunch, a bunch of other things. We figured out uh, that there are a bunch of these torches that are around the area. There's a total of, I think, eight of them. And when you light all eight, it actually opened up a, a boss fight. Uh, we went in and it was, a, it was a fight called the Ancestor Spirit, which was basically a very mystical moose. And it was a really neatly designed fight, like the moose um, could actually, you know, run through the air using magical, like, platforms and such like that. It was a really unique and pretty looking fight. You almost get, you almost forget that you're fighting it. Uh, managed to one-shot that one, too, which was nice. Um, and then we also finally ran into another boss called the Dragonkin Soldier. It was just a very, very aggro, um, giant like sweep happy boss like i don't know really to describe him um i one shot him as well and managed to gain a dragon halberd which doesn't seem to be super special or anything like that so that ended our our episode with with again seven bosses seven bosses is pretty was pretty awesome and we're gonna see how many we can down tonight i don't think it's gonna be that many but we're gonna see what we do so buckle up everybody let's get on into the game and get started And again, thank you for the bits, Ashley. I hope you're doing well. I'm trying to think where I was heading next. Occurring in sudden holes. All right, so where am I? Okay.
All right, so there's a bunch of things we could do. We could go to the... There's a lot of things on the map that we haven't actually looked at. Like, there's so many different structures that could be things. And I kind of want to check them out. Because this game is all about exploration. Um, I want to check this out first. Because I remember seeing it, and I forgot at the time. I was so focused on this tower that we're, I'm sitting at right now. That I had ignored the fact that there's actually one of those giant golems that's over here. And I kind of want to check that out and see what it is. So I think I'm going to start with that. Uh, so we're going to start by going over to that area. You also see I did decide I want to try using this sword. This is the sword I picked up from the Bloodhound Knight. It is actually really nice. It's the Bloodhound's Fang. It does a pretty sizable amount of damage, way more so than my claws. It's got a really neat FP ability, and it does almost as much bleed as the claws. Almost. Not quite as much, and I, I don't know if... It, I'm pretty sure it doesn't ble uh, get bleed up as fast, because I think the way it works is that each claw hits for 60 buildup. So it means I build up, actually, um, I build it up like quite a bit quicker. Whereas this one's only 55, but it does have the advantage of hitting harder. So there's that. I do like this sword, though. It's a really neat design sword. Uh, we still haven't seen any new patches for the game, unfortunately. So there's going to be no changes in stability, which is a real shame. Someone is already shooting at me. All right. Got it. See, it, already, it hits like a truck still. It's it's only plus five. I do want to get it up a little bit higher than that. Ooh, you missed! I didn't. Smoldering butterfly. All right. This guy in the front is sometimes a problem. Because he is a little bit tougher. And you just stay away, buddy. Nope. He also does not stagger nearly as easily. Butterfly. And uh, we're scoot on over this way. That's, that's kind of my plan. I need to go down here. I got sidetracked already. See? There is a giant dude. He's got a halberd, just like the first one we fought. And I found out, actually, this is kind of cool. I watched another guy, um, another guy streaming this. The halberd that I got from the initial one of these was not a guaranteed drop. Because he didn't get one. Ow, ooh, ouch. Okay, you heard a little bit. Oh, too early. It's okay. It's okay. Get it. Get get under. Get on. He's going to slam. Hey, ooh, that was close. We're going to go ahead and drink. And we're going to go ahead and charge back in. I would hate to get another halberd from this dude. Okay, good. Excellent. That's very good. All right, cool. Um, and so what's this? Uh, already on the face of it, this kind of looks like the elevator to the underground. And, oh, it is definitely an elevator. And there's really only one way to go. I guess we're going down. All right. Yeah, this is definitely an elevator downward. So maybe this is where Blight is. And maybe he'll give us his sword, because his sword looked really sick. It was it had a very solid design to it, almost like a gut sword kind of design, but it had these really purple, pretty purple gems in it, if you haven't seen it before. Oh, are we down? Oh, okay. So place of grace already. Good, good. Where are we? Einsel River. Alright, well, I'll bite. 
what the heck is that? We are in the underground, but we are in a way, way different region of the underground from where we were. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to want to look for a map or something somewhere. Hopefully we can find one somewhere close. Uh, I'm also going to throw on my lantern so I get a little extra light to work with because I'm a little less uh, concerned with sneaking for the time being than I am with being able to see in some of these dark areas. And I'm already not liking this. I don't know. How, how would y'all feel? I didn't, oh, Jesus, fuck. I thought that was a spider and it is almost as bad. Holy shit, that is a giant ant that I has absolutely destroyed. Oh, Jesus, hell. God, I love that weapon art. So, that's a giant ant. Um, hi. Okay, you're dead too. Oh, oh shit, there's another one. Ooh, hi! Hello! My sword is way too good for you. I'm actually not getting a whole lot in the way of, uh, runes. Okay, um, alright. So, on a scale of, uh, one to terrible, this is like, oh my god, I hate it. Not as much as spiders! I will tell you right now, spiders would be worse. Not by much, but it would be worse. I don't know how y'all feel about ants, but these things are huge. I also have, um, I'm a little triggered by Fallout. Because uh, Fallout is uh, a little notorious for very bad ants. Oh shit, there's another one. These also look like they're either shooting corrosive or maybe even the rot from Kylan, and that would not be fun. In, in either case, neither one of those would be good. Alright, so I'm going to go up here first. Oh, I hate this area already. Oh my god, they're coming out of the motherfucking ground. Oh, okay, that's just damage. Ow! There's another one! It came from behind. Oh, I hate this place already. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I'm gonna have to watch back behind my booty. And this is a dead end. Nice. It was a dead end to get the smithing stone free. Which is not a terrible pickoff. I mean, it doesn't help me, like, right now, but it's not terrible. Alright, so... Looking... Hi. Those are some really exaggerated hairs. Like, why are the hairs on these so big? And now I'm, like, watching the ceiling to make sure that they're not dropping on top of me? Like, I am spooked out. And, and was this, like, a graveyard or something? Like, why are there so many of these, like, coffin things? I don't see any above me. Thank God. Golden room one. Oh, that thing has like a giant ass stinger shit. Ugh. Tasher. Tasher, my, my friend. Tasher. But God. Fri fri frisbee. Ow. How you do. What's up, man? And I just got the splitting headache now, and I got no idea why. Hope you're having a good night. We're fighting giant ants, because why not? Yeah, I don't like this. Okay, this is feeling rather bossy. I am going to go up this way. 
me? Yeah, you saw? Okay. I don't want anybody to be uh, surprised by the fact that there are giant ants in this area. Or were giant ants. I don't know if there's still any ahead of us. There might be. Because it looks like we might be transitioning to a, a new section. Um, there's ups. There's other things down there. I don't know what those are, but they're certainly not ants. Uh, all right. I'm not sure where... Uh, some of the imagery looks similar to what we've seen before, but I don't know where we are. Oh, there's another elevator. Is this going to take us up? No, it's taking us down. Okay, well, let's let's ride this one back up. Explore the rest of this area. First giant hands to move like spiders, and now giant ants. Yeah, this um, this game has uh, has it in for unsettling things that are also giant. Um, I I am. I am A-OK -okay if I don't see any more. The only way that this area could be worse is if it were actual spiders. I don't think that Dark Souls or any Souls game has ever legitimately had giant actual spiders. It's always been giant things that are kind of like spiders. Or, I mean, I think actually the closest they've gotten is like Quelag, um in Dark Souls 1, which is, which is, a, which is a, basically a dryer. And uh, that's already pretty deep. Uh, do I have enough to potentially get myself a level? Probably not. No, not even close. It's like 1,800 and I need like 30-something K. I think I'm going to go back down now that I've gotten the way of grace or place of grace. And I'm going to explore this bottom area because there was at the very least an item that was sitting down there. I'd like to... Oh, there's two items that I can see. I'd like to see what's down here and why is it a trap? Why is it an absolute 100% trap? Shatter Shard, Arrow, Fletch. So I think Stone 3. Not a trap. Is not a trap. Well, I mean, it's the first time for everything. I tell you, I would not be brave enough to come down here if this was, like, my real person. I need you all be brave enough to stop, you know, to walk down here. I, I probably would have noped out the second I saw the giant ants. I probably wouldn't have even gotten this far. I probably wouldn't have even come down in here because I wouldn't have been able to reach this area. Because I would have noped out at the market fight. Because I would have gotten my ass beat repeatedly. All right, let's take a look at these, uh, whatever they are. Old Palace Ruins. All right, so what is old? Oh, you look like the driller. Oh, you all, like, turned it once. So you are... What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What are y'all doing? Keep rolling. All right, I don't like the fact that I can't really stagger you. Oh, the second hit of the R2 is a, is a double. Cool. Watch behind me. There are a lot of guys here. That's cool. I like it. So it's actually two R2s is actually three hits. Okay, all right, all right. I'm here for this. Oh, that is not cool. All right, I'm gonna go get the item and then I'm gonna run out of here. Cause that's a lot, of, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of dudes. And they are all very angry at me now. That's a lot of dudes. Yay! That guy was like right there. To ah, run, run, run. There's an item up there. I don't know how to get it just yet. Uh, cool. I'll pick up the formic rocks, whatever they do. I don't know. They're crafting something. I don't know. I'm going to jump up here. I'm going to jump on over here. And I'm just going to run past this dude. 
And roll, roll, for all of my worth. I'd also know if I'd there if I saw the ants because I'm deathly afraid of bugs. I get it. I get it. Totally get it. I feel like I hear somebody shooting at me. Oh, yeah, I am 100% correct. What the fuck? Oh, shit. That's a giant bug thing that was in the, uh... Oh, damn, in the Celia tunnel. What the hell? I'm, uh, gonna hang out here for a second. I don't know what that thing is. Protect me. Protect me. Okay. How can I... Can I kill that thing? Or is that just, a like, an area hazard for right now? Give me iframes. Give me iframes. It's way up there. Jesus. Okay, so maybe I can... Will this take me up there? Oh, hey, it's a merchant dude. Hey, what you doing down here, buddy? The uh, the map for the Einsel River. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely here. It's been a long time, buddy. What do you got? Gravity stone fan. Okay, so gravity stuff. Lost ashes of war. Celestial dew. Nomadic warrior's cookbook. Yeah, we'll grab that. Perfumer's cookbook. Uh, yeah, we'll grab that. I don't know what it's going to do. Thaw frost boluses. The stimulating boluses. Those are going to be um, um, ailment cures. And Acid Spray Mist. I, that feels like it's going to be like a corrosive thing. Interesting. Okay. I'm here. I'm here for that. Um, let's actually take a look. Item crafting. Uh, t -t 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 acid Spray Mist. Use FP to release Acid Mist from the mouth. I don't know what that does, but I have a feeling it does... Well... There's no equipment deg degradation in this game, though, is there? I don't think there is. Not anymore. I think they got rid of that. Yeah, there is no there is no durability, so... Hmm. That doesn't make much... I'm not sure what that does. I might need to try to find some of that stuff and just figure it out. Uh, but um, a bigger problem is that there's, uh, there's no way forward. Do you have anything you can say? I talk to you? No, no, there, no, there is not. There, there is not anything for you to say. So, where do I go from here? Up here? Oh, great. Here we go. Hiding behind. Ooh. So, how does one get up there? Oh, there's a passage this way. So, I think stone three. I got three of those. Uh, oh wait, no, that's that's not a path. Is is it? But, well, maybe? No, that looks like way too far a drop. Um, potentially over there, though. Maybe? I'm just going to stand right here and hide in plain sight. Can I sneak over this way? Is this an actual path? Oh, it is a path. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm, I'm good with this. I'm very good with this. So this is the path I saw. It just I thought it was an abyss because of how far away it was. There is a spot of grace up there, so let's grab this first. Ghost Glove Wart. Let's go ahead and sit here, relax for a minute. I want to take a look at the map and see if we get an idea how big this place is. Because this place, I think, is going to be very big. Um, I'm, I'm liking how, how large the underground area, because we've effectively, like, really increased what we're, what we're doing. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is a fairly sizable area. Okay. So, it looks like we've got a couple of spots. We could have... Um, okay, so this is where we came in. We actually could have gone right to get to some of these areas. Wow, that's a this is a pretty extensive underground. Holy cats. 
Um, right now, we're headed this way, and we're going to scoot on up through here. And it looks like maybe most of it reconnects and kind of into a big circle. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, let's, let's find some stuff to fight and beat up. Uh, more ants. Here we go. Lots of ants. Oh, dear. Ooh. Ooh, do they not know I'm here? Ooh, this could be good. This could be good. What the hell? Oh, this is terrifying. I... Oh, this feel... Oh, what the shit. Oh, yeah. This, this definitely, first of all, calls for a screenshot. We're taking a shot of this bad boy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that. We are going to... Uh, There it is, that's right. We are going to uh, take a screen. I did not mean to do that, but okay, cool. We are going to take a screenshot of this bad boy. Whatever it is, holy shit, that is terrifying looking. I don't know what those things are, Tasher, but we're probably going to find out. I feel like this is a boss coming on. No, Ron, but I'm stuck with a bug where lower tier enemies and torrent won't spawn. Weird. Did you restart the game? All right, I'm waiting for it. Here it comes. I'm gonna get off the throne. Oh, or not. Oh, oh, shit. It's another dragonkin uh, soldier. Oh, uh, shit. I got to do this one on foot. Great. Awesome. Great. I thought I dodged it. I guess not. Oh, God. There goes, like, all of my health. Oh, ow. Oh, good hit. Interrupted the heal. All right, let's go. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. I see what's going on here. Man, you got a big fucking mouth, bro. You are just a regular piece of shit, aren't you? Oh, he had the he had the the backswing. We're going to go ahead and use this opportunity. Oh, oh, that is rather unfortunate for me. Oh, you got yourself some wings. Okay, you are a legit dragon now. Cool. Ow, my face. Am I everything? Oh, God. I'm going to heal. Oh, I tried to roll and it didn't happen. You got me. You got me, fam. So that's not lining, that's frost. Ow. Okay, so I think I know what happened to all those things that were here. Hear me out, folks. I, I think that I think that the, the dragon thing froze them. Um Okay, alright, I'm trying to figure out where the hell I am in relation to the boss. I just got absolutely blitzed. You are 100% correct. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I got absolutely wrecked, Tasha. You got it 100%. Oh, uh, we'll see how it goes. I might need to switch over to my claws just because this weapon might be a little too slow. And it might get me killed. Oh, okay, got it. I I understand, Wish. If you you didn't have any, if you had to re, you know, either choose to return or get stuck with it, I understand. I really hope patches come out to fix that sort of thing. How did I miss? Oh, 
Oh, I dodged too early. Wow, okay, get the double. Oh, okay, so let's actually, let's go get my, uh, my runes, actually, before I fucking die again. Okay, runes, check. Oh, doing the thing, you know, palm. The problem is, is that it's really hard to see what he's doing because I need to be, like, under his ass. And so I gotta kinda guess what he's doing. Oh, this might be bad. Oh, this is bad. Uh, oh, that was stupid of me. I didn't realize he was going to phase two. Rip me. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm going the right way. I got to go this way, right? I keep getting accidentally turned around. All right, this way is where I want to go. I really do like these uh, these these Marika things or Mar Marika um, things because they make trying boss fights a lot less painful because that's always been my biggest problem with a lot of boss fights is that the run back is more dangerous than the boss Hi, buddy. How did that miss? I want to buy a hint. Oh, come on. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Oh, fucking ass. He blocked my rune so I couldn't pick him up. Yeah, shit. I might need to switch to my claws just so I can get some better hits. And I think that's part of my issue is that the sword, while it does a lot more damage, it is um, causing me problems in that I can't dodge as effectively because the swings are a lot slower. Actually hated that boss. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting annoyed by him, Rune. This boss is one of those bosses like, yeah, you probably are supposed to fight him on horseback, but guess what? You can't fight him on horseback. He's too easy, probably, on horseback. He was fairly straightforward with his other version, the Dragon Kid Soldier in the other side of the underground. See, I'm doing a fuck ton of damage with the claws like this. Oh, come on. Don't be a butthead. Okay, good swing. The two-part swings are starting to get a little old. What? Where is his hitbox? Okay, he's going to phase two. Nope, no, right, no, he's not. He'll be going to phase two in a second, though. Oh, God, I'm in trouble. That was actually potentially worth it. If I cannot die, that was hella worth it because I got the bleed rock. No, that is lightning, though. It's like frost lightning or something. Weird, but cool. Pick him up, my runes. Oh, nice try, dude. Nice try. Ow, that was a bad miss. I'm gonna heal. I'm so close. Just a few more good hits. Oh! No! No! No, don't you dare. Oh, ooh, okay, you're doing lightning stakes. Ow, that hurt a little bit. 
we're gonna go ahead and drink it up. Oh, he went through me. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on! Oh, God. Ooh, we got him! Claws for the win. Frozen Lightning Spear. I was right. It's ice and lightning. And we got an achievement for him. Cool. Okay. Claws are fucking OP. God damn. They do a lot less damage compared to this. But damn, are they effective. Cool. We got it. All right. So place of grace. And uh, it only cost me 15 grand. I didn't even get back what I put into the fight. <laughs> Thanks, Rude. How you doing tonight, by the way? Uh, what is... All right, let's, let's go take a look at the giant... Um, the giant on the throne that appears to be dead uh, with a chest underneath them. Playing some Elden Ring yourself? Nice. Hope you're having fun with it. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Ooh. Ooh. Very shiny. What is that? The Great Ghost Glove Ward. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sure that'll be nice. That'll be for upgrading. I just don't know exactly what. It's going to be one of the ashes, obviously. But uh Oh. There is another area down there that I can't quite reach. Okay. Okay, so we might need to come at this from the other side to explore. I don't know if we can get to there from here. We might need to circle all the way around, but this is looking awful nice. So we are up three deaths for one boss. I've literally said that a billion times. Please don't be a mimic. It's almost like a like a mantra at this point, isn't it? Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. Don't be a mimic. I know in Dark Souls you can test for it. I don't know if you can test for it in this game. And so I've kind of given up trying, and I figure, you know what? If, if it's a mimic, it's a mimic. And if it's a mimic, I die. End of story. PTSD flashbacks. To be fair, um, in from what I understand, every game, mimics are... If you pay attention, mimics are noticeable. Uh, I noticed that in, uh, you know, basically in, in Dark Souls 1 and also 3, I believe, mimics, they actually breathe. You can see the chest move a little bit as they're breathing. Um, like the, the chest lid will come up a tiny bit. Also in Dark Souls 1, there's additionally the idea that the chain is in a different position. Chains that loop down and, and curl up are always good chests. Mimics are chains that go straight down. Uh, in Dark Souls 2, it's actually kind of neat because... Uh, and I'm going to warp, actually. I'm going to warp to get out of here. Um, in Dark Souls 2, the only mimics that I'm aware of in that game are in metal chests. And in a mimic metal chest, if I recall correctly, the locks that are on them, there are three locks instead of just two. And if I remember correctly, they're also much shinier. Uh, the other good news is that every single mimic in the game, you can just whack with a weapon and it'll automatically get up. As long as you whack it once, you're okay. If you whack a chest more than once, you run the risk of breaking it if it isn't a mimic. And that's kind of bad. All right, let's go take a look over here. It kind of sucks using the claws, though, because um, I really like the FP ability of this. Oh, okay, so we can't get up there. Magic grease. Oh, that's nice. So we can't get up that way, which means we have to be able to go this way. Unless maybe go in through there? I don't know. We'll, we'll try this first. There's a lot of places we could go. A lot of places. Uh, let's see. So I need to hang left. We're going to make a, a run past the gauntlet. Mm -hmm. 
and hope we don't get absolutely leveled. Uh, oh, maybe we could get up there. Oh, nope, never mind, never mind. We're just gonna go this way. I love that R2, the second R2. What are y'all doing over here? Oh, hi. Oh, they're affected by it too? Neat. I did not know that. I did not know they were affected by the uh, hit as well, which is cool to know. Um... Dodge, dodge, thank you. No backstab? Lame. Alright, so are you not a, is this just a waterfall? That gets me shot by the stupid thing? Um, or can I walk through here? Nope, there is literally nothing back there. Damn, that sucks. Alright, uh, let's reevaluate. Uh all right, we're in combat, so I can't look at the map. Uh, let's see what else is around here and find things. Maybe get up there somehow. Can I run up there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There appears to be a ramp of some sort. Uh, sort of. Take some hits. Uh, well, not quite a ramp, per se, but... Uh Ow, ow, oh, ow. Um, I don't know where to go. How do you get up there? There's a fallen pillar. Okay. Trying to figure out the platforming while you're under fire is certainly a, a new thing for me. I would love to kill that thing. Let me through, let me through, let me through. There is a lot of shit to dodge here. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Here? Oh, hello. What is that? The golden centipede. I don't know what that's for, but sure. What's wrong with it? Kill those. Um, ah, yeah, 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 that guy ran. That, that's cheating. That is some base cheating right there. Okay, so what am I missing here to get over there? Uh... something of a loss. I mean, there's plenty of items and shit around here that I can pick up, but it doesn't seem like there's any way to get up there. At least nothing is jumping out at me. Hmm. 
Oh, that's more dangerous than the rocks. Way more dangerous. Alright, so what am I missing here? There's gotta be something I'm missing. All right, let's break combat. Uh, illusory walls to get me up to the bug, maybe? Because I'm not seeing an obvious way to get to the bug, which would mean the alternative is I gotta fight it. That sounds no fun. Well, I have a bow. We could try messing with that and see how it goes. I don't know how much it's going to do for damage. I also don't have a whole lot in the way of ammo. But we can give it a shot. Let's get these guys out of here. Um, okay, same controls, okay, it seems to be same controls as Dark Souls, and I actually lock, I can lock onto you, cool. Ooh, that's, that's some good damage, actually. Oh, he pissed now, he, he, he's super pissed. Okay, that's some good damage. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna hit and run this dude. And he's just gonna get mad. I mean we're only need like what eight, ten arrows? That's like that's three I've hit him with. Oh, even farther in. His uh shotgun stones are kind of annoying. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, definitely bows are feasible. I'm I'm definitely feeling better about trying to bow run at some point. Cause you can do some really, really mean stuff with bows, especially if you know how to snipe. Um heck, actually, now that I think about it, I've actually got some arrow stuff, effective range, attack power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Increase the attack power. Let's see. It was doing 160 before. What's it doing now? Okay, that's decent. What, 10%? Yeah, uh, 160 to 176, that'd be 10%. So it does 10% extra damage. That's not bad. I can get behind that. I'll have to do one more. I might have to see about cracking some more of these Dweller arrows. They're doing actually some decent damage. All right, buddy boy, get out of here. Bam! Give me anything cool? Give me a fair amount of, uh, of runes. It's not bad. Did you drop it? Is there anything up? How do I get up there, though? Well, there's got to be a way up there. I can't summon the horse. Am I overthinking this? Probably. I am probably way overthinking this. Climbing where I'm not supposed to be? Uh... Huh. Well, I'm thinking about it. How do, can I make any more of those Dweller arrows? Because those are really good. Magic bone. Sweet bone. Well, maybe I can make them later. I can't make them now, but they have about the same power. Those aren't bad. Make a bunch of those. Hell yeah. You only have 99 arrows at a time, though. Hmm. 
Well, that certainly put a damper on things. You can't just sit and spam arrows forever. You can put more in your box, or you gotta go restock. Okay. Cool. Well, the good news is we got rid of that dude, so I don't need to worry about him anymore. Uh, let's see. Clear out more of the area. Because you know you so need more than 99 arrows. Well, yeah, I wish. I mean, in Dark Souls, you could carry 999 arrows of each type. Granted, there are not nearly as many types in Dark Souls as there are in this game. Um, and the, the areas to rest are a lot um, more frequent, by and large, than they are in Dark Souls. So, it, it, okay, we got ourselves a party coming over here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Please blow up. I'm going to heal, because he almost killed me. Ooh, you missed! Oh, got them both. Take that, buddy boy. Oh, backstab. And I ducked under the blow. I love it. I love how you're able to duck under things. It's so awesome. Those bubbles got a little bit of pop, don't they? Yeah. Don't don't I know it. Oh god, go, go, go. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. He actually would have killed me if he'd actually gotten the second part of that. Movie. I really don't like that they have a second follow-up to that. Bubbles! Oh, lots of bubbles. No. Get out of here. Alright, we're almost cleaned up with everything that's in here, which is good. I'm trying to get an R2 on you. Could you please stop? Sir. Okay, good, good hit. Good hit. Fucking spear bullshit. Thank you. Okay, so I think I've cleared out everything on this side, which is good. Because it gives me a chance to really look closely now at what's going on. Because I'll be honest, I got a little distracted by things. So we jump up here. Uh, let's go ahead and put my lantern back on as well. All right, so there is no way forward here. That That's a dead end. It doesn't link. I do love this curved gravesword. It works so well. Yeah, have you seen the, uh, the FP attack? Wish? It looks really cool. So I'll, I wonder if there's anybody down here I can use it on. Uh, probably not. I think I killed them all. Yeah, I think I killed them all. Oh, there's one guy up there. But part one is this. And then it di dashes back, and if you do an R2 after that, it does that leaping teleport strike. And what's really cool, what's really cool is that um, it appears that that leaping forward and, you know, phase attack or that teleport strike actually gives you some form of iframes because I have passed through shit that should have hit me but didn't. And that's really exciting because you could potentially use that defensively and offensively. All right, so... And I'm, like, grasping at straws as to what I'm supposed to do because something isn't making sense. Can I knock down a pillar? I 
can't jump. Let's backtrack some more. We switch between that and the grafted. The grafted is really nice, but it's too heavy for me. I feel like the halberd, the golden halberd, is better than the grafted sword in basically every way except for its, uh, um, except for its like power, which is a little bit better. <laughs> Turkeys distracting me from the roly dudes. Wow. Okay. Could you stop with the spam, Jesus, dude? I'm trying to hit him. Oh, he got some iframes out of that. That's cool. All right, so let's pop back this way just a little bit and see if maybe I missed something in here in my haste to get the fuck out. I might, it's very possible. There were a lot of guys here and I went, oh shit, I'm out of here. Yeah, that's exactly why I got out of here. It's gonna shit like that. That's exactly why I hightailed my ass out of here. The, sta the fact that they don't stagger is really frustrating, actually. Oh, God! The guy with the spell almost wombo comboed me. Ooh, that was really fucking close. R2s at least stun them or stagger them a little bit, which is helpful. But damn, do they have a lot of uh, boys. Right, I'm going to get that caster right now. Caster down. Nice. Got some healing back. Fucking got me. Must be big fans of Limp Biscuit's song Rollin'. Oh, yeah, probably. Very probably. All right, where the fuck did I come out? All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to back up. Because I see something I want to go check. I definitely see something I would like to check. Um, it almost looks like there is maybe a path nearby. Uh, maybe from here that leads up into here, because there's an item right around there, I think. So... Let's actually head back down there and let's go back to the ant area and check that out. The music in this area is just a touch creepy. I'm going to I'm going to give them that. All right, so I got to go a little bit farther. Oh, you know what? It's in probably in that area where I killed that one stinger. Ant? Yeah, that. I just didn't go any farther in this. There appears to be more to this section. Maybe. Yeah, there's a way to jump. I didn't even see that. I didn't see you could jump up here. That's okay. Cool, that'll get us up here. Maybe this is the secret to what we gotta do. Oh, hi! Oh, it's a lot of ants! That's the ant queen. Okay, y'all, just gonna hang out, or you just wait till I extend myself too far, or you're gonna wait until I actually try to kill Queenie. Let's go. 
Like that. Yeah. Oh, here they come. They're gonna drop. Here they come. Oh, we got a golden rune 10 and a rune arc. Oh, no. Here we go. Ah, Jesus. Fuck. It's a lot of ants. I've killed their queen. They're mad at me now. They super mad. There's still more ants. They don't know what to do now. No. Alright, so... Okay, ants... Do the ants not respawn now? Like, what was the purpose of the ant queen? Just to be there as, like, a big old fat trap? I, I kind of one-shot her. Alright, and then... There is... Item there. Smithing stone four, cool. And then there is item here. Celestial do. Okay, eh, not really helpful. But we'll go with it. Uh, alright. There is another path. Ah, uh, I see. There's a water path over here that we can use to get up this way, it looks like, maybe. Man, this area is so hunt is honeycomb so well. I love the way it's set up. Can I get my shit back? Where is it? Where is my shit? Where is my shit? Thank you. I'll take my shit back. Okay. Um, yeah, we can just scoot on over this way. Okay, yeah, this is definitely kind of where we wanted to be. God, this... The way they're doing the music is so damn eerie. It's like a horror track. Like you're building up something. Like something bad is going to happen. And it's so eerie. Alright, so... There's that... You're dead. Oh, you hit me in the back swing. You butt! Alright, so what's the deal in this section? Does it do anything? There's a toppled... Ah, okay, okay. I think I'm supposed to climb this to get up here... Which does what for me? Is that a is that a switch? No, no, it is not. What does this do for me? Ah, this is how you get up there. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Clever, clever. And that stupid bug didn't drop anything. God damn. That's so dumb. Get the lantern back on, because it's really fucking dark in here. Literally nothing up here. That is such a freaking waste. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, let's look around just to make sure... Sounds like a Dark Souls thing. Yeah, it does. It does kind of sound like a Dark Souls thing. Kill something to get up, you know, that's way out of the way. Get up to where it is and find out it was guarding absolutely nothing. That is the Dark Souls way right there, Wish. You got it. Uh, let's actually go ahead and port back over here to the Dragonkin area. And see what else is here. Because there may be some additional stuff we can do in here. 
Because I'm kind of looking at some of these areas to see if maybe I can get into the buildings, maybe? If not, we might have to table this area for now. Because while there is more to do, it's not jumping out at me where... Oh, is that... No, this is where we... Uh, lantern. I hate the lantern just resets. Because if you look at this... It almost looks like there's a way over here to get there, but it's not really showing up. Hmm. Oh, is that an is that another? Okay, I thought that was a passageway for a second. Is there a way maybe to drop down that I didn't see? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Mm, here, we'll, here, here we go. Oh, this might suck. Oh, no. <laughs> it's definitely a new area. Definitely a new area down there, but that is not the way to it. <laughs> But you saw for a second that it flashed a new area zone name. For a second, it did that. All right, let's... Uh Take a look over here. Like, I definitely didn't see anything here. These are all dead ends. I think I'm just going to grab my runes and probably get out of here. No sense in wasting my runes. Yeah, I got about 22k. That's not bad. I'll do one quick cursory look. Uh, that's not doors, is it? No. Didn't think so. Okay, it's just grates. Nice. I like how the water doesn't shut off my lantern. That makes me very happy. It's a watertight lantern. Hell yeah. Good job. Oh, oh, what? Uh, huh? Huh? Maybe? Okay. Maybe? Oh, I thought I found something for a second. I got really excited because I thought I figured it out, but no. So how do you get into there? You must have to come in here from a different side. Because you can't get up this way. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try one more thing. I got one more thing I'm going to try. One last thing. I'm going to try that other area to the side again. There's a lot of For once in a game, water that does not shut off your light. I'm going to chalk it up to the fact that this is a closed off lantern, Tasher. It's definitely helpful. Uh, most implements we've had in the past uh, don't have, they're either torches or they're like cage lamps where like it's a where it doesn't have like closed windows and such so it makes sense why water would cause it to go out so 
This is the first time I think we've had a fully closed off and sealed lantern. All right, jump. Oh, I can't go that way. We're going to go this way. That's just magic. It makes it more simpler. Magic. Okay, Wish. We'll call it magic. It's a magic lantern. Not the genie kind, but like the one that doesn't go out kind. So, I want to take a look around and see if there's a way for me to jump from this area to the next section. I don't think so. The map is somewhat deceptive in that regard, so I can't say for sure. These guys are tanky, though. Yeah, I don't think I can make a, a far enough jump. Oh, wait, or, oh, maybe this, actually. No, this actually is what they were standing at. Okay, so I actually can't. Yo, Joey, what's up? How you doing? No bubbles. Not sure why this game is so difficult. Well, it is a uh, Souls game, so it is uh, supposed to be a tad on the difficult side. Oh, there's an item over there I never got. Interesting. All right, let's see if I can get that and not die. Here we go. Cool. Got it. Let's put this on three. Just dodge an attack. Looks so easy. Yeah, it's deceptively easy at times. Um, so... Is there a way off this to the right that I didn't see? No. Ever played a soul game? Well, this is probably the most, um, I want to say accessible souls game in terms of difficulty. It, it seems to be generally fair, I would say. Um, it also allows you to tackle things in orders that you want, as opposed to the order that the game wants. Which makes things quite a bit easier, actually. I would say most new player friendly. I, I can I can agree with that, Glitchin. You're drunk tonight. <laughs> well, I hope you're having a good time. I see the Tesla stock. Well, that's because they opened their new Giga factory in Germany. Um, not gonna lie, I think that Tesla is way overvalued as a uh, as a thing. I also think that Elon Musk is a piece of shit. It's an abusive friendship, that's for sure. <laughs> right, you are, Wish. Yeah, you are one hundred percent right. And I think that we're actually gonna we're gonna pop out of this area because this isn't really helping us right now. There's not really anything we can do here. Um, all right, so I think what we're going to want to do is look around some other areas. I want to check this area out up here. So let's pop back out. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I just... I don't like Elon Musk. I think that he presents himself as like this edgelord, meme lord personality when he's really not much different from a lot of the other folks that are just trying to screw the average person, in my opinion. And this is just my opinion. Um, I think that uh, he has no idea what the fuck privilege is, considering what was his grandfather or great-grandfather, I forget which one, basically owned an emerald mine in apartheid South Africa, uh, which is where he got a lot of his money from. Um... From what I understand, he also engages in a lot of anti-union bullshit um, that has actually gotten him in trouble, but apparently not enough trouble because he just doesn't care. Most billionaires aren't living in a five fifty thousand dollar house. Yeah, I think that's just I think that's just a marketing thing. I don't think he actually. I mean, you know, 
I, I don't really buy into that one. I don't know enough about it to say, though. Just his actions present him as a piece of shit to me. Oh, is this another church? Oh, oh yes, it is. It is a church, which means I can get a um, an upgrade to my uh, my flask. Oh, that's awesome. Cause yeah, this is a church. E oh, hello. <gasps> oh, it's the tortoise pope I've been hearing about. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? I am tarnished. I you to the church of vows. Oh, well, thank you. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred oh, dude, you are so cool. I love My you. Apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Tortoise Do Pope is the best dog. <laughs> of this place, how it came to be known as the church of vows. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Earth Tree and the Moon were joined. Okay. By the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Oh. Fall. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. Interesting. The Earth Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, that's cool. So they built this church in a specific place because you could see Rea Lucaria and the Capitol from there. Okay, what's this? Atone? Oh, man, I don't need to atone. Oh, but I will take that chest. Gold, gold sewing needle. Um, gold tailoring tools. All right, so what are those two? Uh, let's see. Well, we picked this up, which is very similar. Special sewing needle for demigod attire. Allows demigarb alteration at sites of grace. Okay. If I'm going to take a guess, I'm going to say transmog? Or, well, glamour, whatever they want to call it in this game. Appearance alteration. What is this? Uh, alter garments. All right, so what does this do? All right, so wait, what do the alterations do then? I can alter some of these items, but what does it do to alter them? Like, this is already... Uh, oh, it makes it... Li it actually changes mechanics. It makes it lighter, but it makes it weaker. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'm good uh, with that. That's an interesting mechanic. All right, so we checked out this area. It's a church. It's the Church of Vows. Um, actually, I want to talk to I want to talk to Tortoise Dude again. Tortoise Pope. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. Oh, well, thanks. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. Aww. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Oh, well, I kind of already did. you are in search of instruction. Instruction, in yeah. In which case, I will share all that I Sure. Have. What do you got for me, buddy? Ooh, study sorcery, study and conti- Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Oh, what have we here? Give him scrolls. Well, let us both learn together. All things can be conjoined. Nice. Oh, what have we here? So this is where oh, I give the scrolls to unlock spells. Together. Cool. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Oh, what 
What have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. All things. All right, so he just keeps doing that. All right. So I mean, I guess at the at the end of of all of this is that I have I have the belief at this point that billionaires do not become billionaires without screwing people over along the way. And you don't continue to stay a billionaire without continuing to screw people over. Is literally everything that they do terrible? No. But enough of it is that they are not people I would want around. Like, I don't... The world does not need billionaires. The world would be far better off if this, if their capital, if their billions were in the hands of a lot of other people. All right, so we got a whole bunch of sorceries we can learn. Wow, these are some... Ah, uh, man, I am really excited to do sorceries and incantations at some point. Damn. Um... You only know Blessings Boon. Okay, that's cool. I can't do that one. Show Celestial do you Dew. Any celestial dew? I do. Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Okay. Once cleansed himself well, but I'm, I haven't committed any sin, have I? Repented his territorial aggressions and swore his love to Hunala. The order of the Earth Tree and the fate of the moon were conjoined and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. Okay. About the miracle. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back, and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Okay, well, I don't need to do that, that but that's cool. Will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. So is this kind of like saying a whole bunch of Hail Marys and then every and then God forgives me? Is that how this works? My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time its bounty will not be squandered if you would be Elden Lord. Tarnished. I hope Maybe. that you too will share my faith. People think the economy is like a pie where someone, someone takes and someone must give or someone can make more pie for everyone. Well, yeah, the problem with that, though, is that let's stipulate that, that he is making more pie but he's keeping the pie. He's taking the pie back to his house and eating it himself. Or actually more accurately, he's just sticking it somewhere in a closet where nobody gets it. Uh, and I 100% agree with what Crane said is, you know, if you have billionaires living in the same city as homeless people, your society is very ill. Your society has lost the plot. I think that enough people are upset and don't like it that it is it is time for a change. It has already been on record that Elon has engaged in a lot of anti-union stuff that is actually illegal for him to do. And unfortunately, with him being based, effectively the richest person on the planet, there's only so much you can do to him without taking huge amounts of his fortune as as punishment. Pie that you OK, so but there's in, in our analogy, though, Joey, is that there's no difference between pie that you leave in the stock market and pie that you leave in your closet at home. Like there's there's no difference in this analogy. The point is, is the pie is just sitting there. It doesn't do anything.
I thought I could get glintstones from there. I guess not. All right. Hey, it's a lobster. Somebody. Anybody hungry? No grafted sign off of this one. Is this one dead? No, it's, it is most definitely not. All right, a couple more swings. Ah, good hit. I guess the root of what I would say I believe at this point is that the stock market does not indicate the health of the economy. It indicates the health of a very small percentage of the people who participate in the economy that have frankly rigged the system to benefit them. Um, because as, as time has gone on, uh, inequality has increased by an enormous percentage uh, because we keep trying these experiments of, of trickle-down economics which don't work because nobody ever actually allows it to trickle. What ends up happening is that these people grab a bigger cup at the top or they siphon it off somewhere else. It doesn't actually trickle down in any kind of meaningful way. So, um, I used to think that trickle-down economics was the way because the idea is that, oh, well, it makes sense because this person will invest in their company to do more things, to do R&D, to pay more people, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it makes sense. But so does communism in theory. Uh, the problem is, is that in practice, neither one of them works. Um, just because they haven't accounted for the fact that people suck. And there is a giant carriage with a lot of fucking people. Hello. Prizes. I like prizes. I'm killing that guy. Got him. I love how I'm just riding around killing things with reckless abandon. I am unstoppable! <laughs> Dude, could you stop being a shit? Okay, I don't think he can drag the card anymore because I killed his buddy. Which means I think I can just get in and grab the shit. I can't. I just gotta kill one of them. Just one. The Carrion Knight Sword. All right, let's take a look at that bad boy. Um, because we got ourselves a new sword. Uh, the Carrion Knight Sword. Very nice. That's actually ooh, it's a magic sword too. The Carrion Grandeur is the power. A straight sword embedded with a glue, blue glintstone, the weapon of knights sworn to Carrion royalty. These knight swords would serve as catalysts, letting them wield sorcerous battle skills. Despite numbering fewer than 20, this power made them a match for even the champions of gold in battle. Carrion Grandeur. Carrion Royal Prestige. Oh, come on. Oh, cut me some slack here. Yeah, and I thought we were friends. Why, why would you do that? Why would you give Odin... His, his sword. Why, why would you do that? It's not very nice. It's not very nice. I hope you're enjoying your anime, Kitten. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful night. Um, anyway, Carrion Grandeur. Transform the blade into a magical greatsword and swing it down. Can be charged to increase his power by up to two levels. Oh, okay. I don't have the int to use it. That's a shame. It looks cool, though. It's a ve very pretty looking sword. It's basically like this only smaller. Yeah, it basically is. 
That's cool. I like seeing all the different kinds of swords and stuff like that, and just all the different sorts of weapons. Okay, here we go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Take that, my guy. Got him. 6,000 runes. Thank you. All right, so... I actually wanted to go down this way to check out a few things, so I actually went the wrong way. Let's fix that. I just kind of went charging off into the distance. But I'm doing I'm doing pretty well, Kit. We've only found one boss tonight, so we're we're kind of just stumbling around looking for stuff to do. Kill that guy. Kill that. Oh, didn't kill that guy. Kill that guy. I wonder why there's jellyfish here and why they're red. Like, uh, well, they're guarding an item. Okay, so that might be something that they can get. Uh, they're not worth very much. Ow! You fucker. Give me that item. Blood grease. Jellyfish shield. Ooh, okay. Jellyfish shield. Sure. What, what is that? Uh, right there. The jellyfish shield. The head of a spirit jellyfish commonly found floating above the sacred ground throughout the lands between. Wielded without modification as a shield. The see-through head is extremely light, but its flesh is supple, providing absolutely no protection from piercing attacks. Unique skill, Contagious Fury. Insight the jellyfish's wrath and allow its fury to flow through you. Raises attack power for a certain duration. That's kind of cool. It's actually a 100% physical block. Okay. That's neat. That's not bad. It doesn't block elements very well, but that's cool. Our target is that Erd tree over there, actually, is where we're going. I'm picking up them bones. Oh, wait, no. Is that the... Yeah, that's the Erd tree we want to go to. We want to... Not go down there, we want to head straight ahead. But I, I'm glad you had fun uh, with TF2. I used to play it a little bit with some friends in the past, but I fell out of practice a long time ago. Oh, we found another jail, folks! Hell yeah, we're jumping into this. The Cuckoo's Ever Jail. Oh, hi. Um, we're gonna go. <laughs> Before that thing kills me. Alright, folks, here we go. We got ourselves another boss. Right here in front of us. Let's do it. Oh, Bulls Carrion Knight. You are a big sucker. Oh, okay. Your, your roar knocked me down. Pull it up. Oh, maybe not. Okay, he got the... Oh, God. The, he does so much damage. Shit! Oh! Man, he does a fuck ton of damage. Okay, that's one. So we fought this guy as a regular fight before. I don't know how it's going to go. We're going to see. We're going to see. Um, let's get back over there. I, lo I, I really love the fact that they put the, you know, the, the shrine things there. So you just spawn right back in and go right in for the fight. Also, the jails, your, your runes spawn outside of the fight, which is very nice. It's very fair. It makes these jail fights the least painful fights to get into. All right. Um, let's actually go to Claws and see how we do. Yeah, he does a ton of damage. He's in a roar. Right? Oh, or not. Oh, 
Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, he's going to phase two. Yikes! Oh, okay, that was a very good delayed move. Go, heal. No! Too slow. Claws are definitely the way to go, though. Claws are definitely the way to go. 100% the way to go. I really love these claws, though. They're so good. Definitely wish I had uh, more stones to upgrade them, because they're only at plus 15. Yeah, I'm playing like a Wolverine build right now with these claws, and it's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome. He's already at phase two, and he's only hit me with one thing. Ow, 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 ow. That hurt a lot. Oh, shit. I just need, like, two hits, dude. Got him. Okay. The Great... Blade Phalanx. Oh, he, so I get his I get his magic sword thing. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. Man, there is so much content in this game to experiment and play with. I love it. Okay, so that's another jail down. I don't know. I want to know what these are in here. Like, there's that right there. There's another one of these up there. That might be another jail right there. That could be a jail. There are so many things to look at that I haven't seen. Um, can I not summon the horse? There we go. I need to keep heading this way. So sword definitely hits hard. The claws are probably more effective against bosses, though. Probably. Uh, at least when I'm on foot, on on horseback, probably sword. Just because I can only, I can't necessarily combo very well. Ooh, hello. Uh, oh no. Oh, there are only a couple of reasons why you get dismounted. Um, the big one is you're getting invaded. Yep. Right there. Hey, buddy. You want to go? You shit. No. That's a cool move. Oh, okay. Okay. Holy it is. Got him. Thank you. Chevrolet Grape. Oh, oh, we give those two, um, oh, Banish Knight's Halberd plus eight. Not bad. Raw meat dumpling. Okay, so the, the 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 grapes we give to that lady. I don't know where she is anymore, but we give that to the lady. They're the eyeball things or whatever. I don't know what they're why they we give them to her though. Exactly. Raw meat dumplings. What are those for? Do I have a bunch of those? Restore HP but cause poison buildup. Okay. Um equipment. Let's look at that uh that halberd that we just picked up. There's so many cool weapons. I love it. Uh, Commander Standard. Banished Knight's Halberd. A finely crafted halberd, intricately engraved with an ancient motif, given to knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Most of these knights were sent to the fringes, where they were forced to start anew with only despair for company. Skill, spinning strikes. Pull arm skill that requires continuous spinning that performs continuous spinning attacks. Hold to continue the attack. Can be followed up with a normal or strong attack. Nullifies projectiles such as arrows while spinning. That's really cool. I like that idea. We might experiment with that in a little bit. Uh, but in the meantime, I do have a uh, level I can take here. 
go ahead and uh, let's get ourselves a little bit more. Yeah, let's get ourselves a little bit more dexterity. Very nice. And let's get over to that earth tree. Again, the power of the claw is just wow. All right, so they are is almost certainly a boss up there. Almost certainly. Just a matter of getting up there. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. That is really ominous sounding music. Unless it's just the fight music, maybe. I hope. Yep, there he is, right there. It's another Erd Tree avatar. Probably not corrupted. So we are actually going to pull out the sword for this dude. Hi, buddy. Erd Tree avatar. Nice. Miss. Yep. Miss. I hate that they have such good tracking on that. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep. Once I got knocked off the horse, there was uh, a pretty good chance of me dying. Maybe if I'd healed right away, I could have survived, but it was very unlikely. All right, let's go in there again. Um, we can grab a summon, maybe, to distract. Let's go, Wolfos. Let's go, folks. Time to ride. Oh, God. Yep, stay away from that. Way. Oh, got hit by that. Make sure that the... Oh, okay. Well, there go the wolves. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's actually a good move. I like that. I like that move. I like that move. That move, not so much. I just need one more hit. One more. Got him. That's uh, three bosses down tonight. Nice. Enemy fell. Three bosses. Cerulean Crystal Tear and the Ruptured Crystal Tear. Okay. Let's check them out. Uh, Cerulean Crystal Tear re restores half of total FP in a mixed physic. And the Ruptured Crystal Tear causes a concoction to explode. Okay. A defective crystal tier that which possesses absolutely no medicinal qualities. A lesson said to be learned the hard way for some. Faith can be a volatile matter after all. Interesting. I feel like that that might be a misdirect in some way. And that there might actually be some use under very specific circumstances. But I'm not sure. But that's, uh, that's three bosses down tonight, folks. We're doing really good. Not entirely sure where this is taking. Oh. It's taking me to a bad place. Oh boy. I love it. Why are there always crabs in any kind of water? Whoa, hello. That's a dude that was trying to breathe poison shit on me. There's a lot of crabs here. That's a big crab coming out of the ground. Oh, fuck me.
Yep, here he comes. Oh, what did I just find? Oh, yeah, Crab Central. I love it. What did I just find? I love poison swamps. Eight and five, so 100% old enough to know better. Would I rather have the lobsters? Uh, actually, the lobsters, I think, are more manageable than the crabs are. The crabs are insanely aggressive and hard to get around where they can't hurt where they uh, can't hurt me. Lobsters, it's actually pretty straightforward. I hear a scarab. I don't see a scarab. I definitely hear a scarab. Ah, there it is. The vow of the indomitable Ash of War has been acquired. All right, so where the hell is this leading me to? Other than to the middle of nowhere. Oh, could I have gotten there immediately after coming? Oh, yeah, I could have gotten there pretty quickly actually coming into here. Um, this actually might also take me up to the plateau, maybe. Oof, the two that caused the problem are getting toast for dinner, and everybody else is getting Burger King. Ouch. Hopefully they learn their lesson. All right, well, how the hell do I get up there, then? Because, I'm not going to lie, that looks like it almost should be a path, but it's not. Shut up. So is there a way up that I'm not seeing? Huh. Not wanting to back see if you want me to tell you how to get up there. Nah, I'm good for now. I'll figure it out. Or, or I won't. Either way. I feel like that there is a path that I just haven't seen yet. See, that's why I hate the crabs. They are really fast and annoying. And they hit decently hard. Uh, aha, is it up here? Ah, uh, this looks... Village of the Albanurix. What the hell is an Albanurix? Maybe this is the way, because it looks like it's sloping off. There is a place of grace, so that's always a good thing. There's three ways it'll go. He'll either Skyrim horse and accidentally fluke the path or die for our amusement. I'm leaning towards two and three. But I think I might have accidentally stumbled into it, maybe. Maybe. Because this looks like it keeps going up. So I'm going to keep moving ahead. Oh shit, that's a guy! Yeah, whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa, that's a lot of fire. Okay, all right, we're, we're, we're playing for keeps now, apparently. All right, buddy, come on. Let's go, you and me. My claws versus your dinky sword. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is exactly what I thought. Bring it. Oh. Oh. Hi, you're a person! I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Okay. Who the hell are you? You're not one of them. You look like you're wearing a scream mask, dude. What a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Albinoric. Albinoric, okay. We're finished. The whole village is finished. Why is that? The curse mongers have destroyed everything. Who? No one that remains has their wits about them. Except for you. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? Sure, you want to give me something? Keep it out of the curse hands. What is it? The Halig Tree Secret Medallion. Right, so, okay, so this is going to be another one of those elevator things. Latena. Then please give it to her. Latena, okay, so not everybody's lost their minds. Ooh. Ivory Sickle, is that the weapon that they've been using? Hello. Sickle fashioned from ivory, weapon carried by aged Albanurix. These weapons are evidence of their dedication to the Halic Tree, despite never having entered its presence. So what is the Halic Tree? We've heard of Erd Trees, but what's a Halic Tree? I'm actually kind of happy that I actually found that. Like, I don't know how someone was supposed to have stumbled across that. Oh, shit. There's a guy. What's up, dude? Get out of here. Their blood is also silver. Which reminds me of the enemies from the College of Bergenworth in Bloodborne. Okay, there is a vial. Oh, you do magic. Okay, cool. Not cool. Ow. Well, that wasn't very nice. Can I have some health back, sir? Oh, no. Bite me. Yeah, it's a stupid thing. Alright, so... Alright, we got a ways to go. What is down this way? You look beefy, sir. Are you a boss? Oh, omen killer. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out. Hey, oh God, not again. Okay, you are like Taurus Demon, only more annoying. Yeah, actually, you are 100% th not the Taurus Demon, um, the Copper Demon, sorry. Because you have helpers. You are 100% the fucking Copper Demon. Only with... You actually take a lot of damage. I'm good with this. Got him. Okay. Four. The Crucible Knot Talisman. Okay. I'll bite. I got some stuff I gotta look at anyway. Uh, let's see. A talisman fashioned from a bony knot that embodies the aspects of various creatures, said to have grown on the human body long ago. Reduces damage and impact of headshots taken. 
a vestige of the crucible of primordial life born partially of devolution. It was considered a signifier of the divine in ancient times, but it is now increasingly disdained as an impurity as civilization has advanced. But it's not a talisman. <laughs> oh, good one, Wish. Good one. I'll take it. We'll take it. Um, Very nice. Oh, I meant to look at this one. An accoutrement worn by the Ancestral Followers raises immunity. Said to be a budding horn, the Ancestral Followers believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers uh, over and over again until the beast one day becomes an Ancestral Spirit. Tough crowd. <laughs> you have no idea. I also want to take a look at that key thing we found, the, uh, the Halleck Tree Medallion. Join medallions to operate Grand Lift of Roll. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Rold, granting access to a hidden path. In other words, a secret medallion will guide the bear to the land of Miquela's Halleck Tree. All right, so I'm going to take a stab in the dark. Take a stab in the dark. That this is where the Halleck Tree is. And that I need to find this, uh, this other person nearby in order to get up to a lift that takes me to the top level. That's my guess. I don't know if I'm right. We'll find out. But that's my guess. And I think that's a decent guess. So the question is, where is this girl? Oh, fuck. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. I totally fucked up. Okay, let's try this again. So, let's look for this uh, this chick. We didn't really look very far. We also didn't cross over here. I don't even see this bridge here. So, maybe our friend is over here. Oh, no. Nice try. When in doubt, teleport it out. Yeah, not, not a bad way to go about things. Um... Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, well, there is an item there. There's a guy. You were a caster of some sort. The Crystal Sword. Hmm. Let's get a load of that. Sword fashioned from pure crystal, a deed impossible for a human. Enwreathed with powerful magic, its attack scales with intelligence. The inscrutable Crystallians have but one clear purpose, to safeguard their crystals unto the end. One theory posits that they yearn for the return of their creator, who will carve for them new brethren. Spinning Slash. Skill favored by dexterous warriors. Slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for follow-up attack. That's a cool looking sword, and it's got a decent amount of damage on it. It's not bad. I love the different varieties of weapons in this game. They give every build a shot at being decent, and I really like that they've done that. It makes this game so much less cookie cutter, and that you can play literally however you want. And there's another item! Albanuric Blood Clot. Alright, let's look around some more... There's an item over there. Okay. Larval tear, nice. Uh-oh, I woke everybody up. I pissed everybody off. He just kind of went through Another item. Albanoric blood clot again. Uh, all right, let's uh, 
Let's talk to our ghost friend over here. What do you got for me, buddy? This village is done for. Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and still your breath. Okay, so he's telling us to go look for this Albus dude. But we've already found him, so that's irrelevant. So... I think that the person's name we're looking for is Tarata? Is that what she her name was? It's interesting that there's like only one of these guys here. Budding cave moss. Alright, let's look around a little bit more. Oh, okay, there's a dude there. That just leads me a... Oh, but there's a drop down over there that I don't think I saw before. All right. Um, yeah, this place is actually exceedingly dark, and it's making it difficult to see things. So... Let's double check over here, make sure. But there is definitely a section down there that I didn't see before. Because there is an item down there. So let's check that out. We'll have to kill some dudes again, but that's okay. McQuella's Lily. Who the heck is McQuella? She seems important because we're going to be going to her area, I guess. Oh, come on. Here we go. Got him. Glenstone Firefly. Thank you. Oh, it didn't it refilled immediately as opposed to waiting until the things happen. Alright, I gotta use this I gotta use the uh heal before. Oh, so these weren't helpers, they were just spawn near him. Got it. He didn't really have helpers. Oh, okay. Is that a purple item? That looks like a purple item. Something good, something good, something important. Rune arc. Eh, kind of. All right. So where could this chick be? Up on the house? Hmm. I don't know. Wait, is that a path through over there? Or is that just the end? That's just a... Oh, okay. That's just where you fall off. I think. Yeah. You just fall off here. Okay. I, oh, hi, dog. Then beast bones. Alright, so maybe she's not in this area. That's okay. Old Albus. Maybe we gotta look somewhere else for her. That's okay. We've done a lot of exploring in this zone. Um, let's see. Where else can we go? Um, I want to check this tower out again. Because I got given a hint that I couldn't do any more at the tower right then and i want to look at something because this caught my eye <laughs> yeah something fits on this pedestal okay so something i have a feeling that something flips this tower okay all right so we figured that out so where to now well, we can head to the east. If we go up here, we just cross this big old fat bridge, and there's a map segment right there, it looks like. So let's do that. Uh, easiest way up there might be from you. Avoid loading triggers.
Alright, let's get moving. Yeah, because we didn't go to the east when we came over to this area. So there's a map segment over there that gives us more stuff we can look at. Which is always cool. What's up, boys? Got him! Yep, they're coming. They caught up. <laughs> Time to ride. I wonder what... Are those supposed to be, like, banners of an army? Those are really cool. They just kind of stand there in the air, and they're just all ethereal and like. Okay, so that's where the lift is. Which means we need to head over this way to get to our next spot. Oh, there's a spot of grace that I never picked up. Okay, let's grab that. I must have missed it. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. Wait a second. What's that out there? I just saw something out there that I want to take a look at because... Oh, no way. No flippin' way. Dude! I killed your brother! Oh, you got a cool-ass mace. Oh, God, Knight's Calvary. Yep, here we go. We doing this. There's apparently more than one. Ow, fuck. Ow, that hurt. Okay, we're gonna switch. Sword, let's go. Sword time. Missed. Ow, ooh, good hit. I remember this. So how many of them are there? Oh, this mace actually does bleed. That's cool. Or this morning star. Oh, fuck, he's got help now. He's got motherfucking help. He called in his reinforcements, folks. Oh, God, that's a wall. Can I get over it, please? How many are there? You don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how many there are, and I don't want to know. I want to uh, run into them myself. Oh, you know what? It's got it's got me thinking. Ah! I gotta get these dudes out of here. Good hit. Can't believe I missed all of those. Oop. Oh, he got the horse. And he got me. Okay, can I... Um... Please don't kill the horse. Oh, I gotta resurrect the horse. Shit. Go, 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 go! Where'd he go? There he is. There he is! Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't hit. I'm trying to kill your guys. Nice. Okay, I got one of them. I just need one more hit on this dude. Thank you. Ah, whoa. Now we can actually fight again. Uh, oh, this guy is still here. All right, let's get him. There we go. Now it's true one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, and I got a refill. Nice. Ow. Okay, he got me. Okay. So, we'll try it again. That guy was definitely a lot harder than the last one was. Okay, all right, all right, let's go. But he's not going to appear anymore because it's daytime. 
So I'm actually now curious. I'm just going to have to start riding the roads at night all the time then to see if I can find more bosses. Because there's going to be more bosses, I'm assuming now, or at least more of these guys. And I don't know where they're going to show up. You see me enjoying Stranger of Paradise? I downloaded the demo, Gakaroth. I've got some issues with it. Um, My hope is that things are getting better in the base game from the demo. Because the demo, I'm not going to lie, it felt kind of clunky. Nice try. Nice try. You're just gonna be a butthead with all your hell, aren't you? Oh, go, 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 go! Move, 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 move. Heal the horse. Oh, move it, move it, move it, move it. you. Okay, horse is almost down. Let's pull him away a little bit. Man, he jumps super far. Okay, I want to take out his, uh, his guys, his friends. At least the fast ones. Oh, I can't swing that to the side? There we go. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, God. That is a really cool swing. I want that weapon. Please give it to me, sir. Please. S shared order? Aw, oh, man, I didn't even get his weapon. That is some bullshit right there. I love that weapon art. It's so good. Okay, well, now that we've hit our detour... Um... Can I see what that one is? Wait, that's... No, that's the Ashes. Ashes of War. Shared Order. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's what they all do. Um, the Sacred Affinity and the following skill. Skill of the Golden Order, Fundamentalist Knights. Grants the armament of those of nearby allies' holy essence. Highly effective against those who live in death. Okay, that's cool. It's such a fucking meme and it knows it. Yeah, as long as the game knows it, that's fine. Only played a few minutes, first few missions, still feels a little clunky, but once you readjust, it's fine. I don't know. I just feel really disappointed because, uh, I mean, t t I mean, Team Ninja made one of the smoothest games I've ever played, which is, you know, Neo 1 and 2. And then they turn in this, it feels like it's not their best effort. And I feel very awkward rewarding them for not their best effort. Okay, what the hell was that? What the hell was that sound? Oh, someone's shooting at me. Oh, there's ballistas up there. I see now. Um, my suspicion is that I don't think that Square liked the idea of the game becoming a meme. And so therefore, Square just wanted to get it out the door as fast as they can. I could be wrong on that uh, belief, but that's my that's my belief for right now. Um, and so it honestly probably needed a little bit more time in the oven, is my guess. Feels fun to me. It's not 100% their best effort, but it's definitely fun. I mean, I can get behind not their best effort and fun, but not at full price. I swear I didn't like it. They should have written it better. 
that's fair. Oh. Whoa! No! Whoa! 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 Fuck me! I just... Oh my god. What is this nonsense? Dual tree sentinels? What is this shit? Oh, fuck me. Oh god. What have I done? Ow. Jesus, fuck. They just double whammy me. I'm glad to see that they hit just as hard as they did before. Okay, so you remember what I said earlier about not using the uh, the busted halberd of bustedness? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to use the busted halberd of busted. Let's go. This thing hits so damn hard. 1500 for that one guy, dude. I actually got some really good runes for that dude. To be fair, they're using against me, just even the odds. Yeah, th this is true. They're also two on one me. Now, I should probably not have tried to kill. Whoa. Oh, they're using great bows. Fuck me. I should have gone for them. Those are like silver knights. I didn't know we were in a Norlando. So how many how many runes did I just lose? I don't know if anybody noticed, but I didn't. Because I wasn't expecting. I was kind of panicking about the two tree sentinels. <laughs> in all fairness, that's probably the appropriate response. What the fuck? That was some lame-ass bullshit right there. I cannot believe that shit hit me. Wow. Oh, yeah, I am blocking them. Oops. Uh, okay, well, I guess it's a secret to everybody. Well, the answer is I'm losing none now. Keep moving. Oh, God, keep moving. I need to take out the archers so I can continue to move this fight down range if I have to. Oh, come on. Don't know, my God. Oh. I cannot believe that I didn't actually kill him. Okay. I need to... F How do I get those ballistas out of here? I don't know. Like, I can't even get back up to where the fuckers are at this point. That's my biggest issue. Uh... Oh, so you're you're actually just a guy sitting... Oh, hi. Hello. Old Fang. Oh, I'm not... I'm not two-handing this. There we go. That's about it. No. No, thank you. Uh, I also need to address the fact that I have heavy load on right now. There, I'm back to medium. I fought the, the tree sentinel initially on foot in the in original area. I don't want to do it again, especially when there's two of them. But if I have to... Wow, okay. Jesus, come on, game. Give me something. Give me some chill, bro. Alright, so we're going to try to kill these guys. So that I can potentially come and deal with the other guys piecemeal. Alright, 
Alright, what'd you drop? Smithing stone three, nice. Oh, hi. Hello. Bolts. All right, so took care of this. Oh, shit. I was going to say, the stairs are basically clear. Except for the next group up here. All right, we're going to go straight for the archer. He's going to draw. Oh, damn it. All right, I got to move back. I got to get into a better position. Oh, you bastard! Okay. I gotta keep going back and forth. There's one. And two. Now the big dude. The item. Oh, got some armor off of him. Very cool. And a great bow. Nope. Nope. Okay, so I got my 11 flasks. I'm at full health, and the tree sentinels are ahead. Yay! Good news is I can. Stall for time and space. I have tons of space to work with. Tons of space. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Can I just go past them? Ooh, I can't. I can just charge past them to a place of grace. No, golden tree. Oh, place of grace and a golden tree, it looks like. Oh, but they're still chasing me. Oh, God. The capital outskirts. Um, two golden seeds, nice. Can they not get any closer? Like, I don't want to cheese, but at the same time, I would like to have a checkpoint that's back here. Just to be fair. Yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna cheese. So they're just sitting up here, right? Okay, cool. Maybe get a few hits. Can I engage them one at a time? Oh, that is... Slightly less awful? Buddy, the door's right there. There, okay, there you go, there you go. There you go. He figured out where the door is. I don't know, are we calling, is this cheating, cheese, or good strategy? Which one is it? I'm not sure. Someone could let me know, that'd be awesome. Oh God. I think that this is gonna fall under good strategy that I've lucked into. Okay, that hurt a little bit. He hit me the frame I got up. I got greedy. Okay, so here's how we're going to play it this time. I'm going to see if I can throw a bone dart at him from the doorway. It's interesting that the second one didn't aggro. I, I'm really actually surprised that that didn't happen. Oh, let's get the map while we're here, too. Let's see how bonkers the map is going to be. Landell Royal Capital. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's that's an okay-sized map. There's still plenty more to be found, though, it looks like. There's the bigger tree right there, though. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Can I throw a bone dart at this bad boy? Let's grab my runes. Two 
too far away. Um, there you go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, you know, nice, nice try. Nice try. Yeah, being a lot more dexterous and fast is definitely helping me. The Tree Sentinel was 100% a fight you were supposed to do on horseback. 100%. I actually don't know how that didn't hit me, but okay, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. He also can't really swing to his left, which is helpful. Oh god. Get out of there! Get out of there! Okay. We've got almost one. Do I get a second halberd if I beat this guy? Can I can I get a second halberd? Oh, there's one. Woo, baby, that was fun. How much do I get for him? Do I have to beat the second one for it to count? I have to get the second one. Now, my question is, if I die, do I have to do them both again? Or is it just the first? Wait, where is... Oh, where's the second? Did he just go riding down? Is he just... Oh, he's just hanging out, bro. He's just hanging out. Can I... Can I just... Hit him? He's got a... Oh, he's got a torch or something in his hand. Oh! Okay, so he might be a little more... I don't know, aggressive? I don't know what the term is going to be here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Okay, good hit. I'll take the heal. He still hits like a damn truck. Luke, what's going on, my man? Let's bring him out here because I get a little bit more room to maneuver. Buddy, you coming? The door's here. Come on. Come on. Really? Do you not know where the door is, sir? He de -aggroed. Cool. That actually could be interesting for me. I think that he keeps his health. Yeah, oh god. I think, I would say, he keeps his health, but he's lost. If he de -aggers. Okay, yeah, he's already way more effective than the other dude was. Okay, did he, like, stop the fight? Oh god, move. Okay, let's get away from him. I started with my own foot submarine and deleted him with a great sword horse on my warrior. Yeah. I beat this guy on foot the the first time. But I've actually sort of cheesed it. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw, Luke, but there were actually two of them here. And I managed to accidentally stumble into a way to uh, grab only one at a time. Which certainly makes my life a lot easier. Enemy fell, so I needed to get the second one. Okay, what, do we get anything? We got 20,000. <gasps> the Erd Tree Great Shield and a Hero's Room. So now I can cosplay. I just need the armor now. wonder where you get that. Hell yeah. And, uh... We've reached the capital, which is a good spot for us right now. This is our next zone we're supposed to be in. Let's look at that shield really quick, because I'm sure it's absolutely massive and unable. I'm unable to carry it. 
Let's look at it, though. It looks cool. Ooh, it's got, like, roots and everything over it. Oh, yeah, definitely heavy lift. Weighty great shield forged of gold carried by the Order of Tree Sentinels. Heavily equipped knights blessed by an old incantation of protection. The living rampart of the Erd Tree. The Tree Sentinels are the standard to which all defenders of the Erd Tree aspire. Unique skill, Golden Retaliation. Ready the shield to unleash its protective incantation. This will dispel sorceries and incantations retaliating with golden power. Ooh, okay. So, like, if somebody casts a um, a spell at you, like, say, a, like a crystal spear or whatever, glintstone spear, you can use the power of this to stop it, and then you hit them back with something else? Mm-hmm, okay. I'm, I'm game. Oh, that is a massive fucking shield, man. What is the stats on this? Oh, that actually, that does a lot. That is a really cool looking shield. I would love to be in like full armor, but I just can't wield this together because it's so fucking heavy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really neat. I like that. It's actually really cheap, too. Actually, does it cost... Does it cost anything? It costs four. But only if it works? Interesting. Okay. That's really neat. I kind of want to try that out on something. That is a really cool-looking spear... Um, you know, shield, though. And it's even got the little slot where you can put the, uh, where you can put a halberd or a spear. You can thrust it from behind. That is really neat. Right. Yeah, I did pick up. I don't think I have enough golden seeds, though, Gak. I don't think I have enough. I think I need four, and I think I have three. Yeah, I don't have enough. I need, like, one more. Yeah, I have three. I need one more to be able to do it. So that's really cool. I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. That's really nice, though. Excellent. Well, let's see. So that's, what, five bosses we did today? That's not bad for a day's work, and we only died about... Uh, what, 13 times? That's not bad. We, di we died a little bit more today than we, did, uh, than we did last time, but that's not bad. I think that this is a good spot for us to call it, though. 